just back from the airport and very sad. But jobs need done, let's open the pads. Sitting in the captain chair, I'm looking at the app. Too much yellow, green too high, blue too low. Let's set irrigation. Switch on pump, pool two. Pressure's good, let's check pad. Still too much green. Switch on the washing machine and the dishwasher too. Oh no, it's just gone dark. Run, run, check the sun. Go back inside, check the pad. The red's going up, up. What to do? Switch off the pump. Three kilowatts will do. Stop, stop. The sun is back. All is okay. We're back on track. Take a deep breath and start again. So folks, that was the first 72 hours of craziness of taking over the Solar Assistant app for the first time. I don't think we did. I think we did. Hmm. We don't really need plants, do we? Day three, surviving without Batman. Calming down a little bit now, allowing things to happen. And just watch the sky to see when I need to run and see iPads. Right, today I've got to start taking on the tasks. And that will be clearing up the orchard. I'm going to be mowing here. Yeah. I do have to trim some of my olive trees and I will have to chop this up to stack for firewood. I did manage to get this sit-on mower over the majority of the area so it hopefully shouldn't take me too long. I mean, I'm sure you all know what it's like to mow a lawn but I will show you the after in a few hours. Orchard is now mowed. Grass always looks so much better when it's just being cut, right? Now we start on the kitchen, looking very, very neglected. I will do another once done. Looks a wee bit better. We'll just give it a lot more water to bring it back to life. Greenhouse needs to be mowed, which I'm about to start now. And hopefully we'll pick up most of those pine needles. I have a whole lot of pots here that will need to get planted. Baby steps. This is my wheelbarrow. Why, you may ask? Well, the trail has got a bugger tyre, so we're not going anywhere in a hurry with that. And the wheelbarrow is not going to be much better. As you can see, it's... Um, So, only light duty. Let's go, we're going to take a quick walk to the compost.
with me. You can't stay here on your own. is complete. Top side is the next area. You will notice I put plant pots on top of all sprinklers so that we avoid taking those out. I haven't had that lesson on how to repair yet. I will use the sit-on mower dodge the sprinklers, pick up the majority of the pine needles and then use the push on it. That was lucky. Sprinklers are just on. Lawnmower is fucked. Right, so both mowers kaput. This one. Accelerator wasn't working. I emptied it and then I went to start mowing, pulled the accelerator, and nothing happened. And I see. I have a bit of it, but this is the, it's like a, what do you call those things, fan belt thingy. So, I've put mowing to a halt for now, until I can repair this. This one, as you know, has a slow leak on the tire. We've been okay, but the accelerator, she's not working so well. So I'm struggling to get up the hill, even if I am going quite fast, which says that's not right. And I'll check the instruction manual on how to fix that too. Mowers are kaput. I've got other things to do. All right. I'm going to put some plastic on this. As I have been keeping it moist, and if you look down here, you can still see a lot of that moisture's in here. So I'm going to put some plastic on the top and see if we can get that to do faster. These are the piles that I picked up from the top garden yesterday, which is a mixture of pine needles and grass. I am then going to take all of these and wet and layer onto that one. One, two three, four, five, six piles from yesterday and that wasn't even half the grass. This hasn't changed much. We'll try again tomorrow. Composting requires a lot of water. So what I try to do is layer it 
but obviously I only have two hands. So I've come up with an invention with a piece of irrigation pipe that I can hook the hose pipe into and keep the water spraying while I load it up with grass and pine needles and rake it to get it saturated before adding more dry. I found this a lot easier than switching the hose on and off. for a couple of days. I can still see there's a little bit of moisture down at the bottom. Let's check it out. Oh, it helps if you put it the right way up, right? That's it. Right, a couple of those jobs that I now have taken over is testing of the pool. I've got one of these little pretty sticks. I'll be back. Alright, so I've put it in the pool, it's come back with all these pretty rainbow colours and I really don't know what I'm doing but we'll try. So, I have this which I'm now supposed to test what's going on. Well, I think it's perfect to be honest. Between you and me I really don't know what I'm doing. But there you go. I think it's looking good. My eyes tell me it's looking good. Can you see all that? All right. Sweet. Done that job. Next. After the test, my eyes are telling me it's looking fine. The cabana boy is coming to clean the pool just now. <laughs> and I have topped up with chlorine tablets, so I think it's all right. It's not green. That's most important. Cabana boy has just arrived. Not quite what I had in mind, but as long as he does the job, I'm a happy bunny. A couple of days neglect in the garden, and we have large marrows. Come on, Ellie. Let's go, Brandon. Come on. Got my eye on you. Yeah, yeah. I also have my AR. Hmm. Someone has been digging in the strawberry patch. Hmm. I really need to spend some time down here. Not sure if you can see. These are gonna need a bit of support soon. Hmm. Potatoes are starting to come through. Plum tree, slowly starting to take shape. Today I'm going to take on cleaning up my olive trees. 
I'll be cutting all the suckers around the bottom, working my way up. Anything growing up will come down and we'll cut all of this out. The trees that are not bearing fruit, I will give a harsh prune. One down, 160 to go. So obviously there was a lot, of, a lot of panic and a tremendous amount of learning and really little else got done in those 72 hours apart from me running, checking skies and... No, she's just been a photographer, that's all. I guess oh, this yeah. is a, a reminder that technology can actually throw you for a loop sometimes. Even though it's good, it's the learning curve that is hard. Did you tell Clive you broke all his stuff? I think you better come home, Clive, it's chaos here. Thanks for watching this roller coaster ride today. I'm sure things will get a little easier as time goes by. Don't forget to hit that like button. It'll really help me understand whether you appreciated my first attempt of playing Spielberg. Don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I'm going to hand all of this back to Boss Man, eh? Yeah, I can take care of this stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 it's a bit much. You better subscribe after all this crap. It wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> oh, you haven't seen me really? No! <laughs>